The list of guitar players who played in Red No Verse Band reads like a who's who of jazz guitar. In the late 1940s, Mundell Lowe held the guitar chair before passing it on to Tao Fowler, Jimmy Rainey, Bill Dillard and Jimmy Weibel. One name that you might not recognise from that list due to an unfortunate early passing is Bill Dillard. In this video, I'm going to tell you all about him. He is an unknown jazz guitar player that you need to check out. Hey everybody, Jamie Holroyd here helping you learn jazz guitar. Welcome to the channel. If you're new to the channel and you want to learn jazz guitar, then please check out the link below to my free beginner jazz guitar guide. Bill Dillard has remained an unknown jazz guitar player due to an unfortunate early passing at the age of 30. He unfortunately left us in 1956 after accidentally leaving a cigarette lit at the side of his hotel bed which caused a fire and the unfortunate early end of his life. Born in Lewisburg, Tennessee, Dillard came from a large musical family which relocated to California where Dillard began to take guitar lessons. One of Dillard's earliest gigs was at the Rose Room Bar, which was owned by his brother Jim. Dillard's earliest known recording is from 1954, and it's Harry Bass Bain's Jazz Pickers record called First Time Out. This record was released on Nocturne Records, and only 100 copies, or maybe less, were made, so it is not easy to find, but it is definitely worth seeking out. The album was basically a recorded jam session, so you get to hear Dillard take beautiful, long, extended, flowing bebop guitar solos. If you check them out, you'll hear exactly why I'll put him up there with Jimmy Rainey, Tal Fowler. He's definitely worthy of a place alongside those guys. The only other record which Bill Dillard solos on is called Vibrations by Red Nova, which was released in 1956. This actually came out just a few months after Bill Dillard dies and there's a beautiful tribute written to him on the back of the LP which reads In memoriam, Bill Dillard, one of the great new jazz stars and guitarists on these sessions, lost his life shortly after these recordings were made. The tragedy thus deprived the jazz world of his genius less than a decade after his idol, Charlie Christian, passed into the great beyond. These sides were Bill's last known recordings. I'd like to say thank you to Adrian Ingram, Nick Rossi and Bill Dillard's family for providing information about Dillard for this video. If you have any more information that you'd like to submit, please leave it in the comment section below. There's only a few photographs of him, so hopefully this video will bring some more awareness to the great bebop jazz guitar player. If you like this video, please click the like button and subscribe to this channel for more videos like this. Thanks for watching.